You probably heard the news. Broadcom to acquire VMware for a whopping 61 billion with a B US dollars. Not finalized yet, but I believe both party shareholders already agreed with the transaction. So who and what is Broadcom? And why they want to acquire cloud and virtualization giant VMware? And is it not VMware part of Dell EMC? and already integrated virtualization solutions to Dell EMC hardware. We're going to talk about this acquisition as a cloud and data center professional and not as a finance or stock market expert. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I'm the cloud and data center. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. First, who or what is Broadcom? So the company is known for the chipset. So they are a semiconductor company and their main products are designed for data center, such as networking storage solutions, or even enterprise wireless and industrial environment as well. Now let's take a look at their products. Here is one of their core product. And this is where I heard or read about the Broadcom as a company the first time. We have HBA or host bus adapter, which is basically a network interface card for FC storage. In short, it's a card dedicated for SAN running in fiber channel. We also have wireless and here we have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth combo. The chipset is BCM4398. So if it has a storage and wireless connectivity, it also has a wire slash ethernet connectivity solution or product as well. And here is a 200 gig network interface card. And uh, what's really important okay, about Broadcom, especially in a cloud and data center business, are the chipsets running in our high end with high port capacity data center devices. And I am talking about chipsets running in Cisco Nexus, Arista, even Juniper switches, and many others. There are so-called special chipset, merchant silicon chip, and it's also considered as ASIC or application-specific IC or integrated circuits. And these are all produced by Broadcom. Here's another interesting fact about Broadcom. It also supports open campus and open network solution, and it has partnered with many giant tech companies such as Meta, so Meta, they have this wedge switch hardware, 200 and 400 gig fabric, and they worked with their long-standing partner Broadcom and produces Tomahawk 3 and 4 chipset. But that's not all. Broadcom will be getting their billions of US dollars from Meta. Why? Because Meta platforms will use Broadcom chipset or custom chips to build its Metaverse hardware. We're not going to talk about Broadcom security products. And yes, they have it because they have acquired CA Technologies and Seaman Tech. That would be in another video. VMware is an American cloud computing and virtualization technology company. And it's the first commercially successful company to virtualize the x86 computer architecture. Also, the first company that produced hypervisor for servers. This is called the VMware ESXi slash vSphere. And it's a bare metal hypervisor that runs directly on server hardware. And this is without requiring an additional underlying operating system. VMware pioneered virtualization. And I would say at least 75% of data centers in the world runs ESXi hypervisor. And through the years, VMware has acquired many companies. But the major ones are Nisera, and it's a network virtualization solution. And then VMware rebranded it as VMware NSX. 
We also have Pivotal, and this is a cloud native platform provider and container management solution as well. VMware rebranded this as VMware Tanzu. And many more, such as Be Realized for cloud automation and orchestration. They also have Belo Cloud for SD WAN solution. They also have cybersecurity uh, products, such as Various Infrastructure Secure Solution for NSX. And another huge acquisition from VMware is Carbon Black. It's the endpoint security solution. We'll talk about it more in another video. On January 9, 2004, EMC, the storage solution giant, acquired a company with $625 million in cash. And in January of 2016, uh, it is acquired by Dell since Dell acquired EMC. At that time, VMware announced a restructuring to reduce about 800 positions. So the entire development team behind VMware Workstation and VMware Fusion was disbanded and all US developers were immediately fired. All right, and uh, November 1, 2021, yeah, which is seven months ago, Dell spun off VMware and become an independent company. And May 26, 2022, which is a month ago, it was announced that Broadcom will acquire VMware for approximately 61 billion US dollars in cash and stocks. In addition to that, um, there's a assuming 8 billion US dollars of VMware net debt. So the transaction is expected to close during Broadcom's fiscal year 2023. So I guess the plan is to create the next generation of infrastructure software solution. So this means VMware has failed VMware NSX SDN solution. Or maybe Broadcom has a better plan or a better strategy. And take note, for software-defined networking or SDN, there are only three top players, Cisco ACI, Arista Switches, and VMware NSX, though NSX is more software-based. But since VMware's bread and butter is ESXi slash vSphere, I think that's where Broadcom is going to focus. Uh, personally, I thought Dell EMC VMware solutions are doing great. Okay, For example, VxTrail, which is the hyperconverged infrastructure or HCI solution. Uh, it's a combination of Dell server, EMC storage, and VMware as the hypervisor, all working as a single platform. Uh, this is also the same with IDPA, which is a backup solution. Dell is the server, EMC is the backup software storage, and VMware holds and maintains the visualization components. Yeah, um, there are also many solutions, and I believe it's doing great. Um, I didn't really know what happened. Maybe there was an internal issues or conflicts uh, between the teams from Dell and VMware. And uh, also maybe, I would guess VMware was not profiting as expected by Dell. That is why they spun it off and VMware became an independent company. Let's visit Broadcom website. And there's already a blog about the acquisition dated a few days ago. So they want to rebrand Broadcom Software Group as VMware. So there's already a Broadcom Software. I didn't know that. It's not popular though. Okay, so VMware, a broad portfolio of solutions that help enterprise build, manage, and secure a wide variety of applications from mainframe to client server to cloud native via Kubernetes. Um, so it seems like they're not changing anything. Well, not just yet, or at least uh, they are not yet revealing the plans. So uh, they will still offer the same solution, I guess. Uh, the integration may happen, but not soon. Maybe after a couple of years or more. Uh, because come on, the R&D and the various phases in creating a new integrated solution coming from two different vendors or two different technologies would really take time, okay? And uh, all right, it says here, all this said, we're still in the early days of exciting journey. We'll be carefully evaluating the proposed combined footprint and operating model of Broadcom software plus VMware. So in short, we still don't have enough details. 
It's very strange for a chip maker or a semiconductor company to acquire a full ID software company. It would be the biggest takeover for a chip maker, you know? So this is my logical guess. Since Broadcom already have this various component of high-end next-generation data center switches, such as chipset, the 400 network interface card, and various kinds of HPAs, I think Broadcom is planning something. Something big. It may compete with the likes of Cisco ACI or Arista Switch. They may create their own SDN or Software Defined Networking Solution. Or maybe they will focus on what Meta is doing, which is open compute and open networking. But you know what's strange? VMware, as a solution, they actually don't care about hardware. Now, being acquired by one of the biggest hardware chip manufacturers in the world. So there will be a second part where we will talk about software and security or cyber uh, security side of Broadcom. This is the Semantic and VMware Carbon Black.